Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we are gonna, 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 gonna we're going to keep working on um, the journal, the Trash to Treasure journal. So these are just some of the pages from um, the journal that are coffee dyed pages that I've put some white acrylic paint on here and there and we need to decorate them. And I started decorating this um, uh, prescription bag and so I put this one on upside down somehow, but I guess that's just how it's going to be. And I did uh, do a little collage back here with some fabric. So that will go onto a journal page like this. So you'll see one side at this part of the journal. And then when you get to wherever this end is, you'll see this side. And we'll put some um, journal cards in there. Okay. Another thing, I have this piece that I've made previously. It is a just a tag with a pocket and then you put you know another little tag in here I'm sure you've seen that if you're new to journaling you may not have though and those are super fun to make and um, great decorations so I think I will probably attach this to this page and then we'll have a tuck spot here where we can put another journaling card sorry it appears I have ink on my hands like always um, but I want to show you real quick because I've got something else in my shop um, well, first I'll show you this one. This is one of the little gnomes that come, they're just paper cutouts like, hold on. I have stuff all mixed up in my little bag now and so it's gonna be hard to find stuff. But anyway, so here's like the gnome hat and they're cut out of lightweight um, watercolor paper. Uh, so it, it it's not as heavy as a lot of watercolor paper is and you can see like where my laser cuts there's um, marks from the laser but on the other side there isn't and so but if you're going to paint them and color them and all kinds of stuff that's probably going to end up getting covered up and you're not even going to notice um, there's also little mushrooms so I watercolored the top of that and then used white a gel pen just to make some marks and a black pen there and, I, and then I inked the bottom so they're kind of fun because you can just you know paint the top leave the bottom white or whatever but here's uh, one of the little gnomes all put together so the, these are the little hands that hold the heart um, or you could put a mushroom or whatever but anyway and this is one of the hair um, designs that I put in with the girl gnomes because they don't have the beard the boys I put different beards in and then I just kind of drew a little heart with some little lines for her lips there and went around with a black marker you guys have seen me do that kind of stuff before so those come all cut out this is the you'll get the paper the two sheets of paper um, with all the cutout designs in case you want to use them kind of like stencils or whatever but then in this bag you'll see there's all the little hands and hats and uh, beards and hair and hands you know all the stuff that you need and I always put in a little goodie or something but anyway that's that but now I also because I got playing with this and was like well I want more mushrooms so I cut two sheets of you know all different style and size mushrooms these two sheets are the same but you do get two sheets so it's it's over 90 pieces of or 90 mushrooms and they come in all different sizes like you can see and I'll show you something else I did this weekend that I will probably do a video on so if you're curious how I did these there I mean they're super simple they're just sprayed with Tim Holtz inks and black ink and whatever and then once they got all dry I went and did doodling on them so all different styles this one I did more with gold pen and I don't know how well you can see the gold pen but instead of the black so there's all different ones and you'll get all different size mushrooms there's another one so these are just the Tim Holt spray oxides that I sprayed on there. And then I did do, like on this one, you can see um, the little orange and blue swirlies. And that, I did that with just some fine tip pens that I have. But um, I, I, I like the black ones a little bit better, I think, or the, with the black mark because it shows up better. So just funny little doodles on them. So super simple to do. 
so yeah so those are in the shop now and you can see they go all the way down to like this itty bitty itty bitty guy right here so anyway we're going to use one of these today and uh, that doesn't go with our journal very well so we're not going to use our gnome at the moment so that is what I have planned but I wanted you guys to know that there are mushrooms now too because I decided we needed mushrooms <laughs> Because that's how it works, right? So we're going to collage this a little bit. As you can see, that's what I've already done on the rest of it. So we'll just continue in that vein. So how y'all doing? I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. I am uh, just running errands, trying to get stuff done. I pretty much worked all weekend. So um, yeah, I've just, just been busy. That there or here. We will go top. Yeah, the busy's good too. It's good to keep going and going. So I hope you guys like the mushrooms and I hope you like the little gnomes. They're fun to play with. And of course you could do those gnomes not just for um, Valentine's Day. You could make them any colors that you like and uh, have fun with them. I just was playing around with. I don't have a whole lot going for Valentine's Day. I can't keep up with this holiday thing. I just feel like it's so fast. My daughter's turning 21. Oh my gosh, you guys, how insane is that? So she turns 21 next month. So that also is just blowing my mind as far as time goes. So yeah, we'll probably go to dinner and, I don't know, do something fun. I'm sure she'll do something fun with friends too. But yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how fast time goes. I just cannot believe 21. That doesn't seem possible at all. Anyhow, that's what's happening with me. What are you guys up to? Anything exciting or fun going on? That's kind of cool. That's some of that um, embossed, painted embossed paper with some iridescent paints on it and gold ink it looks like. I mean, I guess you could leave some of the writing. It's just, I kind of, I like the idea of covering it. I think I'm just going to use one of these mushrooms. And I feel like, I like the little bit lighter version for this journal. But I don't know, I guess either, any of them would work. Mm, I still feel like that needs to be covered right there. I do, I do. This is from one of my digitals. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. <laughs> I'm so bad, you guys. It's just hard to remember when you... I've got a bunch of them in my shop now, so it sort of becomes a blur of which one's which, but I don't even have a guess for that one either because it was in my scrap bin. Nothing to, like, associate it with, you know? like you could do sometimes. Yeah, I kind of like that with just that bit like that. Do I want that? I feel like I need a bigger one though, huh? I guess she asked for a eclectic, so. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Three, three little mushrooms, all in a row. Yeah, they, um, I could see that being very addicting, making these little doodly mushrooms, because you can do them however you want, any colors you want. These are just the colors I chose. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That 
will work. And you can ink them up, or you could do, um, you know, real springy colors if you wanted. Or, you know, the Valentine's thing, and just autumn-y or whatever. That's the, that's the awesome part I feel like about having the white watercolor paper because it's totally up to you. It's not like you go, oh dang, all I have is this, you know, red one left or whatever. You um, can choose however you want to color them for whatever project. So that is fun. I even thought it would be fun to do like some sort of Adams Family style gnomes. <laughs> I don't know. You could do all kinds of craziness, I'm telling you. I, this is completely different from all the other pages or whatever you want to call it in this particular um, little booklet thing, but that's okay. I thought I tore that short enough, but apparently I did not. Okay. <laughs> it's always interesting trying to do these things. So yeah, I like that. See, that's cute. And I think I'm going to leave that because you could write a little bit on those and then have the cards on that. I think it's good. We could put one little mushroom in here just to try to sort of bring those two sides of it together. These two don't have to because they're going to be in a different part of the journal. But just to bring these sides together maybe. Add one more little mushroom. Yeah, these were very fun to make, I have to say. Splattery, painty, sort of like uh, along the lines of what Louisa Heinzel did with her scraps, really is sort of what I did to the white part of the mushroom. I sprayed them first with coffee and I let that dry just to, you know, give them a little color so somewhat. And then I went and either sprayed or splattered the um, oxide, the Distress Oxides, and then just doodled on them. I think they're super cute. But it's sort of limitless what you could do with them, that's for sure. You could zen doodle them, like start with them white and just do black or a uh, colored ink too and like zen doodle them. And if you don't know what zen doodling is, um, just look it up. Uh, places like Pinterest and stuff will give you all kinds of examples of zen doodling. I think we'll do that. But yeah, so you can find all it's just basically doodling, but you're kind of like filling up the entire space with all different designs. I mean, sort of like I did on, on that. It's all basically filled in, but there's just a million different styles or um, patterns or whatever you want to call it. So those are super fun. That's just a washi, a washi sticker if I can get it to peel. There we go. I've seen people have tricks to do that and I can never remember what the tricks are. <laughs> That's how good I am. <laughs> it's like, oh, great idea. And two seconds later, out of my brain. <laughs> and then I'm back to doing it the hard way, right? <laughs> Cause we love the hard way. It's the best. It is the best. I 
There we go. Now you don't notice my boo-boo quite as much with my little piece upside down. I mean, I know it's not a big deal. It's collage, so it's fine. But it just irritates me when I do stuff like that. All right, so that's that one. And then we need to decorate some pages a little bit more. We're going to put our little lady pocket on this, but it needs just a touch more white, I feel like. Whoa, sorry. Yeah, some of these pages I somehow missed when I was painting and doing that. And you don't have to do this. This is just a thing that I like to do sometimes. Like, it doesn't serve a function necessarily, except that I like how it looks. <laughs> So it's not like I'm doing something that has to be done. It's just what I like. Okay, so we're just going to glue that partially. If I smart, I'd hold it this way. Is that right? Yes. Lopping ink or ink glue everywhere. I like to leave a little space, but you can put it right in the corner if you want that way. to dry entirely and then I'll probably do a little sanding and a little inking. This one can be inked. So yeah, as you can see, we're just uh, working on these pages today to try to get... I need to finish this journal for Nancy. I keep getting like the squirrel down the... or the um, rabbit down the rabbit hole. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> keep getting sidetracked with other things. Just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes I can stay real focused and other times. Nope. And poor Carol, Carol Laws, I mentioned we're gonna uh, do that journal together. Um, and she started hers and I have, I'm nowhere near ready to start mine, so I feel bad. <laughs> so we might be a little off on timing, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually, right? As long as we show y'all what we're doing, that's really all that matters. She said it might be a bit before she gets to do another video, and it's like, oh, well, that's fine, because I haven't even done anything yet, so. <laughs> You're ahead of me. do some little decorating to our pages too. Maybe we'll go up at the top. Should I go across here maybe? I like to put the little decorations in different spots. It's just kind of a little more interesting, right? I feel like. Oh, and I'll show you the envelope I did. For it. Envelope page. Oh, I have to show you something else that I found. <laughs> I've got so many show and tells. So this um, envelope I did uh, this weekend. I didn't do it with you guys, but it's just a little frame with some coffee dyed paper some of my this I think is from my regal it's either regal 
Cat's Meow or Dog Days. All three of those digitals have different um, William Morris papers. And then here's a little, just a doodle of some leaves and I put little gold bits here and there. And you open it, there's a pocket. Uh, this is some of my um, acrylic paint on paper, just mark making basically. And then a little tag in there, and then at the other side of this, stick it on. You can write here, there's just a little collage up there, a cluster, and then a spot to write. Just a little feather, and some gold around the edges. I don't know how well you can see the gold, but it's there. So yeah, I did that this weekend. That was fun. And the other thing I have to show you is I found this on Amazon. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I'll figure something out. But anyway, it's a um, card catalog, and you get 30 note cards, and they're um, from the Library of Congress, the note cards. There are 30 unique flat cards and envelopes and five tab dividers. Um, the box itself looks like wood. It's, it's not. It's just cardboard that's been covered with some kind of... I don't know, paper or whatever, but I, I like it. I think it's really cool. A lot of um, people complained on there that it's just paper covered. but So like this is raised a little bit, this little pull open, um, but it's mostly just flat on there. But I, I just think it's really kind of cool, especially for the kind of stuff that we do. I, I think it's fine. But anyway, so the little drawer opens, maybe, if I can get it hold of it, right? And inside there are the tab dividers, like it said. And then in these are little um, library, like um, card catalog cards. And so you could decorate them up or just have them like that and either put them in journal pockets or you could do like a whole cool um, decorate decorated cards, you know, like people do in the boxes. So, and then the other really cool thing is it comes with all these envelopes too, these cool like coin envelopes. So yeah, super cool. I like it a lot. I think it's great. But anyhow, that was on Amazon. <laughs> and I'll try to remember to link that so that if you, if you like it too, you can go check it out. <laughs> I thought it was pretty neat. I know you guys have seen me do this before, but it, like I said, I really got to finish this journal. So it was either do this or not film <laughs> today. So I figured some people will be happy and if you're over it, then you don't have to watch. But at least you got to see the mushrooms and whatnot. The other crazy things I got going on. to tell. So even on these you can do like fun little um, doodly type things and I do end up doing a lot of leaves because that's I just kind of like to doodle those. <laughs> They're kind of a simple little thing to do. Could do some little um, like twirly little vine things. Just add some interest. That's all. Doesn't have to be 
you know, a work of fine art or something. Just something interesting and different. That's really half the trick, right? I'm just gonna spatter this one. I'll set that aside because I'll probably use it again. Um, another thing I like to do to these pages is take, this is a Tim Holtz stamp, but you can use anything. I didn't use Tim Holtz for all of them. A lot of times I stamp it off because it gets a little dark. And you can see it's not adding a 10. You can still write on it, but I didn't get that very good. Um, it's just a little something on there. Okay, so that one's pretty much done. Um, I don't know, maybe we can add a little something over here. Let's do another mushroom maybe. just to bring a little continuity. This is some some of that painterly paper or you know kind of like Louisa Heinzel splattered scraps kind of thing. Yours very truly. I'm going to open it up a little bit more so you can see a little better. push it all the way down yet because I want to kind of tuck that mushroom under there a little bit. We still have ice and snow on our roads. I just thought of that because somebody, I don't know if you guys heard it, went by and ran over all the ice and you know how it goes crunch, crunch, crunch. I mean it's not bad at all but And we're supposed to get snow again this weekend coming up. But I know we still got a while yet of that. I just love those years like last year when we had virtually no snow at all. I mean, it's awful because then we're in drought, but <laughs> I like it when there's no snow. And then on here, we could do some little, like, sort of like those little fern curls. Have you guys ever seen those, like, when you're walking in the forest? I like it. We'll splatter that a bit. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry. We have our page here with our lady. I will do a little stamping there. 
side. I'm going to let this dry first. So I'll set that aside. What else was I going to do? I guess we could do a bit of this one. Oh, I need a journaling card. Maybe that's what I better do for that other one. This one would probably fit. Let's see. Just sticking to everything. Yep, that will work. What do we want to do to this? <clears throat> a lot of it has already been done, but maybe a little stamp to start. I like how fine the writing is on this one. This is also the same set with that other bit from Tim Holtz. Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> Why am I covered in ink all the time? I don't know. Weird. Weird. I'm just trying to find stuff that I want to put on there. I could do another one of these that my daughter got me. The little fairies. They're so cute. <sighs> She's such a sweetie. know what else to put with it. That's not much, is it? Let's see if there's birds in here. I like that there. If I use the hummingbird, hmm. No, I don't like that. Dragonfly might be kind of cool. So this is a Tim Holtz stamp on um, if you guys remember, but I have that right here. I can never remember the name. Twin Peaks book. It just has cool writing and stuff in it. I got it at the dollar store. So that's the only reason I'm willing to use it is because I got it at the dollar store. This is very cool, but it's way too big. I think I'm going to go with that.
But yeah, that book just has nice typewritten writing and stuff in it. I mean, it's a, a modern book. It's not anything old or fancy, but... for hanging out with me guys I so appreciate you guys you guys are so awesome and welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to subscribers that have been with me for a while or forever <laughs> some of you have been with me forever <laughs> and I thank you so yeah very fun and tell your friends and please like and subscribe and push that like button I know you guys probably get so sick and tired of hearing that and I don't blame you but it really does um, help my channel get um, boosted up so that uh, YouTube will show it as, you know, something you might like. Kind of, you know, those how those come up with, like, videos you might like. It really helps them put it um, up more for more people to view, and then I get more subscribers. So it really does help me, and I know it's a pain, and it, you probably are like, ugh. But, um, yeah, any, any interaction that you have with my channel really helps. And that's why I was saying, too, with comments, even if all you do is just put, like, a little smiley face or frowny face or I don't, whatever, whatever you feel about it, um, any of that makes it so I get views. So that really helps me a lot. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. But if you do do like my videos, please consider subscribing. And that would be fantastic and very much appreciated. Because I know, like, you don't always feel like doing a comment, but honestly, just even a smiley face just helps my channel so much. So the more people that do that, the better it is for my channel and, you know, the whole liking thing, too. These come out, these stickers here that I just used, um, come out of that antiquarian or I also have the botanical sticker book and the stickers don't stick. They don't last, like they'll just fall off. So that's why I put glue on those. If you're like, why in the world is she putting glue on stickers? That's why, because they just fall off if I don't. So I'll probably stitch around this. I'll add um, some fabric or something as a little pull there. But we have, this should be dry now because that ink dries pretty fast, that gold. So we have this that'll go in here. Let's do a quick stamping on this page. Oh, I forgot to ink it too. I just got this ink pad and one thing I have noticed is it um, takes a second for it to dry. It's, it's very gushy, versifying for fine details for stamping. So it's kind of nice that way. So I'll just try to put this mostly where there is no stamping. That one's pretty light. Alrighty, so once that gets stitched around, it'll go right in there, and then we have, can move these out of the way, so we can see what we did today. So we have our little, you know, I'm going to splatter this too, oops, since I have my inks out. Get 
this one too since I'm since I'm splattering ink everywhere. Okay, oh, that was good, Amy. And we'll do the same on the inside here. All right, so the, that's what we actually got quite a bit done today. I'm, I'm slightly impressed with myself at the moment because you know how I am. It takes me forever sometimes. So I would say we're getting very in the eclectic area, especially after adding those silly little mushrooms. <laughs> I like them though, they're fun. I hope you guys like them. Alrighty, so that is what I have for today for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday and um, I will see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.